Hello learners, I am Dr. Enuka Mainde, Corporate Nutritionist and Counselor for IGNO for their MSc Dietetics and Food Service Management course. Today we will be learning about lycopene. Lycopene is a non-pro-vitamin A carotenoid that is responsible for red to pink color seen in tomatoes, pink grapefruit and other foods. Processed tomato products are primary dietary lycopene source in most of the countries. Unlike many other natural compound, lycopene is generally stable to processing when processed present in the plant tissue matrix. Recently, lycopene has also been studied in relation to its potential health effects. Although promising data from epidemiological as well as cell culture animal studies suggest that lycopene and the consumption of lycopene containing foods may affect or help in cancer and cardiovascular risk reduction. More clinical trials data is needed to support this hypothesis. In addition, future studies are required to understand mechanism whereby lycopene or its metabolites are proven to possess biological activity in human. Dear learners, this module of lycopene, we will be learning its structure, chemistry to processing, metabolism and health benefits of lycopene. Let's now begin. Learners, today we will be learning about history, chemistry, structure, digestion, absorption of lycopene. Now let's understand what is lycopene. Lycopene is a naturally occurring red carotenoid pigment found in tomatoes, pink grapefruit, watermelon, papaya, guava and many other fruits. Lycopene has been extensively examined for more than 80 years with more than 2000 articles published in peer reviewed journals. We have more than 4000 publication it's scientific also otherwise written on the subject. Most of these articles have focused on lycopene derived from the tomatoes. Lycopene has certainly many health benefits and scientists have prepared nutraceutical products from lycopene. Let's now learn about this interesting carotenoid that is lycopene. The objective of this module is to acquaint the learners with history and introduction of lycopene, chemistry and metabolism of lycopene, sources and the bioavailability of lycopene. As we know lycopene is a red colored pigment abundantly found in red colored fruits and vegetables such as tomato, papaya, pink grapefruit, pink guava and watermelon. This red colored pigment was first discovered in the tomato by Millard in 1876. It was later named as lycopene by Sunk. Lycopene is a phytochemical red lipophilic compound. Tomato and tomato based products containing the highest concentration of bioavailable lycopene. Let's now concentrate on chemistry of lycopene. Lycopene is one pigment in the large family of plant pigment known as carotenoids. Carotenoids have color ranging from yellow color of squash to orange color of pumpkins to red color of tomato. Carotenoids also contribute to some plant aroma. Some carotenoids also exhibit pro-vitamin A activity and have shown most potent antioxidant activity. Carotenoids are divided into two major groups. Xanthophils which are oxygenated carotenoids that include lutein, zeanthinine and beta cryptoxanthine and carotenoids which are hydrocarbon carotenoids that are either cyclized such as carotene, beta carotene or linear such as lycopene. The chemical formula of lycopene is 
C40, H56 where C stands for carbon and H stands for hydrogen. It has a chemical structure with a highly unsaturated straight chain hydrocarbon and total of 13 double bond with 11 linear arranged conjugated double bond. Now a non-conjugated double bond. Because of high number of conjugated double bond, lycopene is considered one of the most potent antioxidant due to its single oxygen quenching ability. The 11 conjugated and 2 unconjugated double bond present in lycopene are also allowed for the extensive isomerization resulting in 1056 theoretical since trans configuration. Carotenes exist in several isomers that have same formula but different molecular structure. Lycopene lacks the terminal beta ionic rings and unlike beta carotene lacks pro-vitamin A activity. Now several cis isomers of lycopene have been identified in processed tomatoes, its products and biological fluids and tissues. The lycopene isomer found in human blood plasma, breast milk and human tissues are mainly of the color of lycopene is directly related to its isomeric form. The all trans isomer and most other isomers of lycopene are red whereas tetracis lycopene possesses an orange hue. Lycopene occurs naturally as all transforms and its chain containing seven double bonds that can be isomerized to monosis or polysis due to exposure to high temperature, light, oxygen, acids, catalyst and metal ion. Lycopene is a lipophilic compound with hydrophobic characteristics due to its acyclic structure and 11 linear conjugated double bond that make it more soluble in organic solvents such as chloroform, hexane, benzene, methane, chloride, acetone, petroleum, ether. Physical properties and molecular structure of lycopene are shown in the table. Now table shows the molecular formula is for C40H56 as I have told you C stands for carbon and H stands for hydrogen. Molecular weight is 536.85 dA. Melting point is 172 to 175 degree centigrade. In its crystalline form it is red needle separate from the mixture of carbon disulfide and ethanol. In its powder form it's dark reddish brown in color. Its solubility is soluble in chloroform, hexane, benzene, carbon disulfide, acetone, petroleum ether and oil. It is insoluble in water and ethanol and methanol. Its stability it is sensitive to light, oxygen, high temperature, acid, catalyst and metal ions. This we have learned about the chemistry and the structure of lycopene. Let's now understand the sources of lycopene. Tomato and tomato products are the major source of lycopene in the diet. Tomatoes are well known for being low in calories, fat, good source of vitamin A, C, E as well as potassium. And lycopene is a carotenoid found naturally in the plant sources. Fruits and vegetables that are high in the lycopene include autumn olive, watermelon, grapefruit, pink guava, papaya, sea buckthorn and rose ship. Other sources of lycopene are apricot, canberry and peaches. Let us now learn about the digestion and absorption of lycopene. Lycopene as a fat soluble compound has a similar absorption as dietary fat.
in the stomach and duodenum lycopene will separate from food matrix and subsequently dissolve in lipid phase prior to absorption lipid phase will form a droplet resulting from reaction with bile salts and pancreatic lipase then it enters the duodenum and appears as a multi lamellar lipid vesicles finally the lipid vesicles will absorbed into small intestine via passive or diffusion process additionally there are vitro studies suggested that intestinal absorption of lycopene was aided by participation of specific epithelial transporter however there are many factors that might affect the absorption of lycopene the degree of lycopene release from the food matrix into digestive tract will load when indigestible fraction increases now high fiber diet will reduce the uptake of lycopene and decrease the lycopene absorption whereby lycopene supplemented together with different dietary fiber has resulted in reduction of plasma lycopene for more than 40% the bioaccessibility of lycopene in intestine has showed that the release of lycopene was higher in large intestine approximately 57% then in small intestine around 40% but potential for the lycopene to be absorbed in large intestine is negligible furthermore an in vitro study using caco cells too showed that the uptake of cis lycopene was significantly greater for all three trans isomers thus cis isomers have higher bioavailability than all trans isomers now food processing is one of the factors which affect the bioavailability of lycopene and thus increases the absorption hope learners you have enjoyed learning the chemistry and structure and digestion of lycopene let's now conclude that present module we have seen chemistry sources and digestion of lycopene more than 80% of dietary lycopene intake is resulting from processed tomato products such as ketchup tomato juice the amount of lycopene existing in processed food is often much higher that than that found in fresh foods given that processing often includes concentration via water loss so lycopene is a red carotenoid often present in tomato pink grapefruit papaya red guava to name few lycopene is a lipophilic compound made mostly of carbon and hydrogen we have learned its physical properties and digestion now digestion of lycopene is affected by many factors like presence of high fiber diet now learners in next module we'll be learning about metabolism of lycopene its bioavailability and effect on human health